Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. So yesterday was a day that many of us either, I, I don't know how we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus. You know, maybe you contemplated, maybe you feasted, maybe you listened to some sermons, took communion, danced, sang, rejoiced. You know, all of these are proper responses to the greatest day, the greatest event celebrated in history. And so that was yesterday. So today I wake up and I'm like, what do you spend your five minutes or less on the airways of the internet? What would you bring, Lord? You know, after we've all, you know, celebrated, if we're a believer, you know, did all these miraculous things to celebrate the most wonderful event. So what would you bring the day after? You know, the day after that, what, what what's important to you? And um, there's so many ways a person could go with any. I mean, there's just so much. And so I just had to really seek the Lord. And it was pressing on me today. Like, what do you want me to do for, for the people? You know, for the people, what do you want to say? I can get on here and say anything. But it's like, what, Lord, what do you want to say? And so he led me to a prayer. It's a prayer that the Apostle Paul prayed for the holy people of Ephesus. It's in Ephesians, Ephesians 1, 19 through 20. And I'm going to read it. And it says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. And I kind of watched that in my reading. So I'm going to read it one more time. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power. For us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. You know, Paul was praying that it would be revealed. See, there's reading, there's knowing, and there's a truth in God's word being revealed to us. You know, like it gets in your knowing, deep within the core of who you are. And when it's revealed to us, that truth, it changes our life. And so Paul was praying that it would be revealed to them that they would understand the incredible greatness of God's power that, that, that was for them. And that's amazing. I mean, it's the same power that raised Christ from the dead yesterday, that same power that we celebrated the empty tomb, the same power that we sang about, rejoiced about, prayed about, the same power that we, we believed enough that we were going to partake in it with Christ through communion. You know, it's, it's that same power the day after that lives and resides in you and in me. And Paul prayed that they would understand that. That, that, that not that they would just understand it with their mind and hear somebody saying it or hear him saying or read it, but that it would be revealed to them. And that's the same prayer that I'm praying for us, that God's people, God, Father, that you would reveal this to your people. God, you would reveal what that means to have that power residing in the church in them, in me, Father, reveal it to us now in the name of Jesus. You know, no matter where we're at on revelation, understanding, there's always more. There's always more. That's what I love about God. When I think I haven't figured out, there's more. There's more. There's more for you. There's more for me that needs to be revealed. We need to know it. And so I'm praying that he would reveal it to every fiber of our being right now in Jesus' name. And so I'm going to leave you with Ephesians 2, 4 through 7. I want you to listen carefully because this is us the day after. But God is so rich in mercy and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. Yesterday was a celebration of Christ raising from the dead, but it was a celebration of you and of me. He give us life through that. It is only by God's grace that you've been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms because we are united 
with Christ Jesus. We are seated in heavenly realms now. He raised you and me from the dead. That's celebration. That's the day after. That, that's you. That's me. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us as shown in all he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. We died with Christ. We are raised with him. And that's the good news. So have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.